outsourcing has been a prevalent strategy in the banking sector globally, including India. While it can offer benefits such as cost reduction and access to specialized expertise, it also brings about certain risks, particularly in the context of sensitive financial data and regulatory compliance. Welcome to VAR India News R. To mitigate the outsourcing risks effectively, it is essential to ensure a convergent security approach where all stakeholders adhere to standardized cybersecurity protocols. One of the recent cyber frauds reported in Yuko Bank, the involvement of an outsourced vendor has again started the discussion around risk emanating out of outsourcing. In Indian banks, the mounting risks associated with outsourcing can include number one, data security. Outsourcing involves sharing sensitive financial data with third-party vendors. If proper security measures are not in place, there is a risk of data breaches of unauthorized access, potentially leading to financial losses and damage to the bank's reputation. Number two, compliance and regulatory risks. Indian banks are subject to stringent regulatory requirements imposed by the Reserve Bank of India and other regulatory bodies. Outsourcing certain functions doesn't absolve banks of their responsibility to comply with these regulations. Failure to ensure that vendors adhere to regulatory standards can result in penalties and legal liabilities. Number three, operational risks. Dependence on third-party vendors for critical functions introduces operational risks. Service disruptions, inadequate performance or failure to meet service level agreements can impact the bank's operations, customer service and overall business continuity. Number four, reputation risk. Any lapses or failure on the part of outsourced vendors reflect poorly on the bank's reputation. Customers may lose trust in the bank if their data is mishandled or if services are disrupted due to outsourcing related issues. Number five, loss of control. Outsourcing certain functions means relinquishing a degree of control over operations. Banks must ensure that they have adequate oversight mechanisms in place to monitor and manage the activities of third-party vendors effectively. Establishing a common framework for information security, risk management and compliance across all parties involved in outsourcing is indeed a proactive approach to mitigate risks effectively. This framework ensures alignment in practices and standards, thereby enhancing the security posture of both banks and their service providers. Going forward, collaborative efforts between the banks and their service providers are crucial for establishing robust security frameworks that span the entire IT ecosystem. Let's look into today's headlines. Punjab government notifies 28 new cybercrime police stations in the state. The Punjab government has taken a step towards enhancing cybersecurity and combating digital crimes by announcing the establishment of 28 new cybercrime police stations across the state. These police stations will be set up in each district and police commissionerate. These specialized units will focus on investigating various cyber crimes including hacking, online fraud, identity theft and cyberbullying among others. Elon Musk makes Grok AI chatbot open source. Elon Musk has made his open AI chatbot Grok AI open sourced and an open release is available on GitHub. Open sourcing Grok AI will let researchers and developers work with the model and improve Grok's XAI abilities, enabling it to keep up with other tech companies like OpenAI, Meta, Google and others. Musk also took another jibe at OpenAI, asking them to talk more about the open part. Apple may change name of Apple ID to Apple account this year. Apple is considering changing the name of its Apple ID soon and rebranding it as Apple account. Just like how Android users call it Google account, Apple users will have to refer to their dedicated Apple accounts to access various services like iCloud and the App Store. Apple has reportedly planned a system-wide rebrand to Apple account in 2024, confirming this possibility for later this year. Instagram testing post to the past feature. Instagram is reportedly testing the ability to backdate posts via the post to the past feature. This will allow users to make a post that looks like it was done on an earlier date. 
The feature is currently in the beta phase and the company is likely to limit this feature to business users. The upcoming feature can be found on the share menu on Instagram. Microsoft's new AI tool can create a GIF out of any image. A new artificial intelligence model called Pix2 GIF is introduced by Microsoft's research group. It can convert a still image into a GIF in a couple of seconds. Pix2 GIF employs an image translation method while utilizing the same kind of diffusion model as many AI text-to-video models such as Runaway and Pika Labs. It is a method of creating AI that combines 3D models, videos and images. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.